I always password protect my entire WordPress website while I'm developing it. I don't want people to stumble in there and look around before it's actually finished. I'm Victor at Divimundo.com and in this tutorial I will show you how you can password protect your website using a free plugin. And in the end, I will show you how you can style your login page. As usual, you'll find all the links and resources needed in this blog post on divimundo.com. And the link is available in the YouTube description below the video. So let's jump over to our website and WordPress dashboard. And uh, we'll start by going to plugins, add new. And from here, I'll search for password protected now oh, there are a few options here to choose from and uh, my favorite plugin is the one called password protected by wp expert it has over 300,000 active installations and uh, 91 reviews with uh, four and a half stars in average so i've been using this for several years and i think it works really fine so i'll install this one by clicking install now you can click activate without actually activating the password protection. Now that, that feels good. Okay, so now you have a new menu item. If you go to your WordPress dashboard settings, you have password protected. So to enable password protection for your entire website, you just need to tick this box, password protected status enabled and a password. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I have to repeat it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I click save changes. I'll open a new incognito window. I try to access it. I will face this login screen. Now, if I type one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, login, I'm in. Okay, so these are the basic settings and how you can actually get started with password protecting your entire website in just like one minute. But let's have a look at the more advanced settings. So I go back to my password protected settings and then we have the protected permissions. This is a nice setting that I always use because you can allow administrators to bypass the password protection. That means that all the users that you have added in WordPress that has the admin user role that they don't have to enter this password so i always click this option you can also make it broader say that you want to allow all logged in users that means editors and subscribers etc etc you can also let uh, external rss feeds bypass the password protection these are more advanced settings you can of course change the password by typing a new one twice here and then we have an option that i'm really fond of and that's allowing IP addresses to bypass. So I always add my own IP address here and uh, as a service the plugin actually displays it below the IP address field so you can just copy and paste it and you can paste for example your clients or your colleagues IP addresses here so they don't have to enter the password. Dude that's awesome! And why not allow people to click remember me when they log in and uh, you can increase the days, let's say 60. And now we can save it. And since I didn't add any new password here, it will keep my password. We can actually go to a new incognito window again to preview it, paste my address. And now we have this remember me checkbox here. And since I am not logged in, I see this login window. But if I go back to my site here and uh, I open a new tab i'm logged in in this browser paste the address now i can access the page without logging in and we can actually try the ip address bypass setting as well so i will copy my ip address i will paste it in the allow ip addresses field and click save changes so if I open a new incognito window where I'm not logged into WordPress and I paste the address, I bypass the password protection because my IP number is whitelisted. So I'll disable the settings for my 
IP address whitelisting and the allow administrators because I want to see the login page. Save the changes. Go back and have a look at the login page again. So this is the default look. Have the WordPress logo, the password heading, white box on a gray background, default blue WordPress button. And uh, what about styling and design? Everything that has transpired has done so according to my design. Well, I'm happy to say that there's a free plugin available for that now. So let me head back to my WordPress dashboard. And you can actually see an ad for it in the bottom here of the settings for password protector protected. Now you can customize your password protected screen with the login designer plugin. Try it now, it's free. And yes, it is. I've tried it out and the free version is actually excellent. So it's called login designer plugin. So let's go to plugins, add new, login designer. So here we have it, custom login page customizer login designer from login designer. So this has 20,000 active installations, 135 reviews with five stars. So I'd click install now. And I think one reason why this is so popular is that you can also design your default WordPress admin login screen. That's the one you see if you add slash WP admin so there are two features in this one I'll click activate and now if I go to the appearance tab in my WordPress dashboard we have two new options we have the login designer and we have the password protected so this could be a little bit confusing but the login designer that is for styling the default WordPress login page and the password protection option that is for styling the login page when you use the password protected plugin so we are going to take a closer look at the password protected styling options. So we enter our theme customizer and here we have the settings for the password protected screen. So this is the default look more or less. I've been playing around a little bit with it, but this is how it looks if you don't add any custom styling at all. So I can start by choosing logo styles and I can select a custom logo instead of the WordPress logo there. And I can change the URL for the logo to a custom page. What I can do here, at least not what I can see, is change the size of the logo. So I think something that they add to the plugin. So label styles. I can change the text here. Hey buddy, what's your password? And I can change the font. Poppins, that's a nice one. I can increase the sizing and I can change position, color. So we have the field styles. We can change the field color with background of the password field. And I can also change the border color. I can make it black. Margin bottom. Oops. We can also change the bottom margin. Adding. Password. And lots of other settings. I like also to change the border radius. And we can also change the shadow settings. Let's head back. Button styles. It's always nice to have a consistent layout for your buttons on your website. That says a lot about your um, brand personality. So we can change the background color of the button. Purple. And also the border color, of course. Purple. And we can use padding. We can add some padding in the top. Bottom. I like big buttons and I cannot lie. And we can change the border radius of the buttons round like that. And we can also add some shadow. Here, shadow opacity is zero. And you can tweak this.
now we come to the big areas here form background background color change the border radius Round. we can add some more show adding inside We can add some vertical padding and we can make it wider so i know this doesn't look too good now i'm just showing you the possibilities and we have the big background the body background and this is nice you can add a custom image library Beautiful. Or we can remove that and use one of the preset images. And we can choose to repeat it, no repeat. And of course I can remove the image and I can just set a color for the background. I like that. That's it. I'm pretty happy with these options. As I said, I'm missing the sizing option for the logo. Otherwise, I think this is a five star plugin. That's all for today. Make sure to subscribe and please leave a comment if you like this video. Until next time, take care.